When we self-pleasure, the temptation is to get onto the highway to pleasure in order to get to orgasm as quickly as possible. And that's why uh, a lot of us, both penis and vagina owners, self-pleasure the same way from the time they were teenagers. So when we stimulate a nerve over and over again, we need more and more stimulation in order to get the same result. Whereas right next to that nerve, there may be other nerve endings that we just never touch. Usually, in order to get newness and more excitement, we may turn to porn. And that is not a very embodied way of uh, getting more excitement because we may still touch ourselves the same way and never really explore our bodies and our bodies are treasure trove of new experiences and new sensations and if, if only we would like take the time and explore. Um, a very important tool for somatic sex education is mapping. Mapping means uh, taking a small area, well-defined area of the body and using hands or other tools in order to find out what the touch sensations are. So that means that we need to step off the highway to pleasure and change the agenda to no other but exploring sensations. And what we use for that is breath as well, because the breath helps us to feel more. Um, so we can do that, usually, so the mapping in sexological body work would usually be on the genitals, so either on male or female genitals, penises, vaginas, vulvas, or also on, uh, on the anus, the outside and the inside of the anus. At the moment, we are at the foundations for mapping. So when I touch myself, I can think, okay, I know, I know my dress, I know this is my collarbone, this is my throat, this is my hair, so I know all that. What we need to create is um, an environment and a mindset of newness. Because really we never ever know ourselves fully. There's always more to discover. How do we do that? First of all, we need to see what do we want to explore. So when we touch ourselves, we can be present in the hands and fingertips or in the body. And so what helps is initially to touch an object so that we are fully present, first of all, in the hands and fingertips. And also usually we use objects with the aim of doing something with them. Like um, we use our keyboard to type on it, uh, we use our uh, iPhone to um, uh, kind of read our emails or something like that. But when do we really touch things for the sake of just experiencing the sensation? So I would just invite you to come on a, an experiment with me and you can do it with me. So just close your eyes for a moment. It's gonna be like just one or two minutes and reach out to something safe next to you. I'm gonna take this wall, take a deep breath and just give your hand permission to go on touch adventures. So you may think that this wall, the paint is really smooth, but actually, a lot of dimples and I'm not really telling my hands where to go I just give give it permission to go on touch adventures now actually the heel of my hand <laughs> has found something that, oh that my fingers want to explore and you use the breath so deep breaths in and out take that to a deeper level. So I notice in myself that that is quite trance-inducing actually very quickly because that's not an activity that we usually do. It has to do with mindfulness, with single-mindedness, but also with our bodies finding a way to pleasure that we don't usually use. Oof. So my thumb has found something here and at the same time here my ring finger. <laughs> and found a little, a little bit to explore. So, just a few more seconds with whatever objects you've chosen to explore. So, what's important is to go really slowly and to 
watch what your hand is doing and to breathe in the sensations that you're finding. And then take the hand off whatever object you were exploring. Take a deep breath, bring yourself back to the camera. In the next video, I want to use what we've learned uh, with an object and use it for self-touch, which will be platonic self-touch. And that's going to be interesting because are we present in our hands and fingertips or are we present in the body? So look forward to that.